Hello, class. Welcome to today's math lesson. Today, we are using comparison symbols, and our learning goal is to use greater than, less than, and equal symbols. We've used the equal sign before. The equal sign shows that two expressions have the same value. In the question, 2 plus 2 equals 4, the equal sign shows that 2 plus 2 has the same value as 4. They are equal. Would you count some tiles with me? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Well, I'm going to write down 5 and count with me the tiles on the other side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Both sides of the board have 5 tiles. They are equal. The equal sign shows that both sides have the same value or number of tiles, five. Sometimes things aren't equal and we need to use another symbol. This is the greater than symbol. Hmm, it kind of looks like an equal symbol that got smushed. If we have the number eight, we'll find a number that's smaller than it. Ah, three. Eight is greater than three. The large side of the greater symbol faces the bigger number, and the smushed smaller side faces the smaller number. Some people think it looks like an alligator head, and the alligator just went right by the little number and wants to eat the bigger number. Eight is greater than three. If you think my alligator is cute, I'd like for you to give him a big thumbs up. Well, I'd like for you to count some more tiles with me. One, two, three, four, five. I still have five on this side. Count the other side with me. One, two, three, four. Hmm, just four. These are not equal, are they? When we write our symbol, we can't make an equal symbol because 5 and 4 aren't equal. The 5 is greater than 4. The large side looks like it's going to bite that 5 because the 5 is the bigger one. Here comes our alligator. The alligator wants to eat our bigger number. This number sentence says 5 is greater than 4. Well, let's make some more number sentences. On the top, we have 9 and 4. Hmm, they're not equal, so we can't use an equal symbol. Which number is greater or bigger? That's right, it's the 9. And so we're going to use the greater than symbol. This sentence says 9 is greater than 4. <laughs> and there's our alligator to remind us. He's ready to bite the bigger number. Our next row says 7 and 2. Hmm, well, they're not equal. 7 is greater than 2. So we're going to use the greater than symbol. On the bottom, we have a 5 and a 3. And 5 is greater than 3. Sometimes our first number is not greater than. It is less than. Here we have 8 is less than, hmm, what's one more than 8? 9. 8 is less than 9. The smaller end of the symbol is facing the smaller number. And the larger end of the less than symbol is facing the larger number. Here comes our alligator. It passes the smaller number and goes right up to the bigger number, ready to take a bite. This number sentence says eight is less than nine. Would you count some tiles with me? One, two, three, four. We have four on this side. And one, two, three, four, five on the other side. If we were to put our comparison symbol here, we couldn't use an equal sign because four and five are not equal. Is four greater than, less than five? It's less than. So the smaller end of the symbol has to face the four. And the bigger side faces the five. Here comes our alligator. He's passing the small number and faces the larger number. This number sentence says, Four is less than five. Let's try some number sentences. Four and nine are not equal. Is four greater than or less than? You're right, it's less than. 
so the smaller end faces the four. That's what it would look like if it was an alligator, chomping on the bigger number. Now we have two and seven. They're not equal. Is two less than or greater than? It's less than. And what about three and five? They're not equal. Is three less than or greater than? It's less than. So the smaller end points towards the three. Oh class, well done! Thank you for learning with me. I know that you can now say, I can compare numbers, and I can use greater and less than symbols. Well done! I'm going to give you a thumbs up. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. Have a great day class. Bye-bye!